All right, guys, what is going on? This is your least favorite motor vlogger, Brian636, tuning in for Hood Eats, episode 40 freaking four. Today, we are in Jacksonville, Florida, where it is 70 and sunny, and I'm with my guy, Luke, putting on his knee brace. So we decided, what a better way to explore Jacksonville than to go to a Hood Eats. Now, I've done quite a bit of research on this city, and I think I found just the right barbecue spot for us to go try. Today, we are, of course, on the 2003-2004 Kawasaki 636, and my buddy Lean Back Luke is on his 2018 CRF 450R. Beautiful supermoto build. Maybe I'll do one like this one day, huh? All right, guys, so let's go get some gas in these Chicago bikes. I know they're just as excited as us to be out of that zero degree weather. Look at Rodney on that thing. Didn't do a cam? Oh, yeah. There's a cam? 16 horsepower. Okay. So you did cam it and pipe it. Woo! She's cold. Right. <laughs> she's, she's cold. Nothing better than hitting a rev limiter on a cold bike. Oh my god, does it feel good to be in warm weather, man. Holy shit. Just nice hoodie weather like this. There is nothing better. Luke over here got fresh oil, brakes, chain, everything, pads. So he's got to do some marrying of those pads. We need a gas station, gas station close by. Is lane splitting legal here in Florida? I don't know. Guess we're about to find out, huh? Turn off my cool bike with my cool buttons. <laughs> Please re-enter EMV card. No, I don't want a freaking car wash. 2.7, she was thirsty. All right guys, so when I asked you where I should go, everyone pretty much responded, do barbecue in Jacksonville. And when I started doing some research into what side of the city, kind of has the most violent crime and stuff like that because Jacksonville is unfortunately known for its violent crime. It is the most violent city here in Florida. Um, the same couple neighborhoods kept coming up and they're all right next to each other. Uh, the Midwest side, 29th and Chase and uh, Moncrief Park, like all that northwest, west side of Jacksonville. So we are gonna head to a barbecue spot over there called Holly's Barbecue. We're starving, I haven't eaten. You did have breakfast, didn't you? Yeah, you was too busy sleeping. Yeah, fuck you, I'm starving, man. Downtown, seven minutes away from the most violent neighborhood in, uh, in Jacksonville, that's pretty crazy, huh? Look at this guy taking pictures. He's taking pictures of your license plate. Let's see if we can wheelie the on-ramp. First wheelie in Florida. <laughs> that Luke's got on that 450. Oh no! He told himself he wasn't gonna wheel it. He's dusting out the new brakes! Oh my god. This is that one friend that always says we're gonna have a chill ride. It's gonna be nice and chill. And it just never is. I'm in some crazy, crazy situations with him. I know that 450 is excited to be out of that damn cold that Chicago's got. I'll tell you what. No handbrake either, boys. If you notice, he's got a Bluetooth handbrake. It's just not there. That's how throttle work. Does it feel good? Good. As long as it feels good enough for him to wheelie on, man, that's all that matters. The last thing you want to do is have brake fade or something like that especially on a new rotor. Man, I said it on like episode 27 in Vegas, we always end up on Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway on these damn hood eats. Why is every hood on Martin Luther King Parkway? So what would hood eats be without a little bit of history and crime staff? I'll get into crime staff a little bit later, just because this one's a pretty interesting one. It really is Jacksonville. Uh, surprised me in a lot of freaking ways. I, of course, know a couple rappers out of Jacksonville. 
They collab with Chicago rappers a lot. So Jacksonville, Florida is the largest city by size in the contingent United States. That means it's that sprawling. Now by population, it's not even probably in the top 20. It's got like 900,000 residents. It really doesn't have that many. So it's not only Florida's most violent city, it's also the biggest. So as far as widespread and stuff like that. It's geographical location on the Georgia border plays a really key role in some of the gun and drug smuggling that goes on around Jacksonville. Right now we are on 22nd and Chase in the 29th and Chase neighborhood. That's literally the name of the neighborhood is 29th and Chase in the west side of Jacksonville. Woo! <laughs> There's too many local stunners that come over here on the west side of Jacksonville and stun during the day on a weekday, but seems like they like it. Hand dragon! Oh my god! Look at that! They got a Captain Hooks down here. It's closed, but it's down here. Some crazy little uh, small bungalows around here. A lot of, a lot of boarded up homes. I'm gonna teach you guys an old secret here. Bro, my boy Luke got footage of me on the highway. Well, just how y'all want footage when you get back from your from your trips, so do your boys. So some of the biggest rappers out of 2021 came out of Jacksonville, Florida, specifically in some of these most dangerous neighborhoods on the northwest and west side. Bottom Bottom and Nardo, who just collabed with Little Dirk, they're all from Jacksonville. Now the violent crime here is seriously no freaking joke. Out of 100,000 people, 3,296 people were victims of violent crime every year here. That means you have a 3.2% chance of being a victim of a violent crime just living here every year so every year you have that much of a chance of becoming a victim of, of a violent crime and the drive-bys and the mocking of dead ops and rap songs and all that stuff just very similarly uh, to what Chicago is dealing with is a huge problem here in uh, Jacksonville as well. I've seen the police do news conferences on how they're watching these dudes' music videos and they're pretty much giving themselves up as admitting the murder charges in their songs. See if I can roll a stoppy. <laughs> the sirens we're good we're good he just flipped the sirens <laughs> it looks right back at it that's always really cool when the cops will just chirp their lights at you when you're doing a wheelie they're not going to try to pull you over and, and give you a ticket kind of like a no harm no foul type of thing just put it down you know not now <laughs> that was that was like a sheriff or a state trooper right oh my god we would have been fucked <laughs> this is a cool little spot man i like all the little bungalow houses and stuff they're all one floor. Hey, do you know where Moncrief Road is? Huh? You know where Moncrief Road is? Huh? Yeah, so if I go around here, the next light will be Moncrief? Uh, Holly's Barbecue? On 26th and Moncrief? Okay. And then just straight down. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm hungry and we're on hood eats. I really did find that interesting in the FBI statistics of how actually violent Jacksonville and specifically um, some of these neighborhoods around the north and west side of Jacksonville truly are. There's very few cities in America that have the homicide and violent crime rate that Jacksonville does down here. I'm not really sure if that's just because of the amount of people that actually live in the city. There is so few. There's less than a million people that live here. There is so much violent crime, so it just skyrockets the... Uh, you know, populations that are living in uh, living in poverty and a little bit more desperation. I'm not really sure what, what all plays into that, man. I'm obviously not from Jacksonville. This is my first time riding here, and I can honestly say I love it. It's actually really freaking fun. Look at this. It's like, a, it's a freaking hood, but it's got palm trees and awesome weather. Oh, man, we're waiting on the freight train, huh? <laughs> Yeah, what a way to kill time, what to do wheelies, I guess. Doing wheelies, waiting for the freight train. Feels good, I haven't circled this thing in a long time. The last time I really rode this was actually out in California. 
You want me to do a wheelie? You know how to wheelie that? I like the camouflage, I'll do it. You want to rub it? Come here, rub it. <laughs> <laughs> Little kid on a camel BMX bike, man. We're putting down a freaking stunt show down here on the west side. Freight train ever. You want to see us race? We're gonna come back here in ten years, and you're gonna do this stuff with us, okay? <laughs> How much longer this thing got? We're done. Go eat some damn barbecue, bro. Jacksonville, I love it, man. My guy sliding down your block. I don't know. You almost gave us a heart attack pulling up on us in this. I thought you were the cops. <laughs> there's like a weekday during the work day and there's a lot of people just out. Michael's Grocery, it should be right here, 26th and Moncrief, right? Get on the bag. Like you got girlfriends. Yeah, that looks like your ex. Holly's barbecue, man. Talk about a hole in the wall. Oh, and they got real wood going. Oh. You can lean it right there. Or right here. 636, yeah. They weren't allowed in the 600 class because they had that extra 36 cc's. Right. Look at my dog with the chainsaw. Yeah, I was. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Maybe y'all were hungrier than me. <laughs> you picked the right spot to park, bud. Could I have a rib plate? That's cool. I'll have one of those too with the water as well. I just didn't pay. I ordered and she sent me over here to pay. What the fucking... We're going to wait around for our order for a little bit. Maybe brush off some of these wood chips from the bikes. That's how you know it's real. That's how you know it's good. Sauce is delicious. What do you think of the sauce, buddy? First thing, first bread. Took off one of first gear, second gear, third gear. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's manual too? Good, only way to be. I'll tell you what guys, I'm through my first two ribs here. This sauce is to die for. All the reviews on this place, definitely definitely worth the trip. If you guys are ever down here in Jacksonville, Florida, trying to escape the cold out of up north, definitely worth the trip. I can't tell what it is neither. It's sweet, it's a sweet right. sauce. That's how you know it's good to people. My man's taking a shit over in the garbage can. Go, buddy. Poor guy drinking out of the sewer. Hey, buddy. There we go. You get right. You get right with the right neighborhood dog. You're in with everybody. Yo. That's a good boy. Oh, he just took that. He took that, and he's running. The dog took it, and he's running. He's gonna go have a feast. That dog's gonna feast. I really don't want to go over here by where that 
oh, it's P running down here. Monte Creef Park, Jacksonville, Florida. I'd say this was one of the more fun and successful hoodies that we've ever done. Just a couple dudes, a couple thousand miles away from home. And you know what? We're meeting good people, good dogs, good food, no matter where we go. A lot, a lot of homes in really rough shape out here though, I gotta say. Kind of surprising. It's not really what I think of when I think of Florida. I gotta be honest. Jacksonville, I, I know I've only been here for like a day, but it feels like the biggest mix of like rednecks and ghetto. Like they meet and they collide. It's pretty crazy. Like there's a lot of rednecks, lifted trucks and on the other end of the spectrum. There's a lot of old ass caddies and Buicks and shit like that up on 22s, 24s. So it's cool that they're like coexisting and they do coexist here in Jacksonville. I wish there was more information on like a neighborhood by neighborhood shooting basis. So I literally did just have to go off the FBI numbers on this one, guys. Oh, guys, and when I got you down here, I know we're getting back on the highway, that all of our windbreakers on Misguided Co. are back in stock. I know a lot of people are waiting for different sides and stuff like that. All of our windbreakers are back in stock. Um, all of our t-shirts are back in stock. Everything that a lot of people have been waiting for, uh, being back in stock, is in stock right now. If you guys want to check out any of the clothing that uh, we make, we wear, obviously it's Stunner owned, Stunner run. Our windbreakers are fucking killer. I love those. Uh, love our fanny packs. I ride with both of those things almost every time I ride. Make sure to check out the link down in my description there. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, I appreciate you guys for watching all these hoodies. Um, I pray that God keep us all safe this weekend. This is infamously a pretty, uh, pretty sketchy one just because a lot of guys have been off their bikes for such a long time, especially us boys from up north. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a like. It helps the algorithm in a big way. If you guys want to help support my channel in a really big way, uh, make sure to check out my Patreon. That link is also down in the description. It's truly the reason that uh, I can continue to go on these trips and continue to make the level of quality that we've been doing for as long as we have been doing. I love you guys, respect life. These violent crime numbers that I always report in these hoodies just makes me always want to say that to y'all because I want to ever feel like this is glorifying anyone's statistics. I want to just show you that there is good people and good food within these neighborhoods that a lot of people tend to avoid. I love y'all. I'm signing off from Jacksonville, Florida. It doesn't get more beautiful than that. I love y'all. Peace.